Welcome to the Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. I'm Lauri. I'm Hanna. And this is our 300 ton Hydraulic Press. And today's mission is to press gummy bears, gummy bears through one millimeter hole using this. This is the same stuff that we used to crush some like uh, fruits through these holes with the old press. But now when we have more power, I think we can uh, take on more demanding opponents. And also we had a lot of problems with the seals. So now we have no seals. This is really, really precisely machined to this hole. So I think it's not going to leak. And at least we're not going to break the seal. An interesting thing about this, this day's mission is the fact that last time we had around three of safety margin on these. Because there is a lot of force trying to shoot these out. And last time we had a good safety margin. But guess what happens now when we have bigger press? We have absolutely zero safety margin. So there is a real chance that these are going to shoot out quite fast. But uh, luckily we have our bulletproof bunker. And just to be safe, we're going to aim somewhere else than straight towards us. But uh, I think the like, worst possible scenario is that these fly like maybe 100 meters per second. And the bunker is rated for 308, so they are not going to come out. And we have three sizes. Uh, I think we start from this and work our way here. This is... Is this, I think this is one millimeter. Mm. This is probably like two and this is maybe 2.5 or something like that. Mm. So this goes here and I don't want to overfill it because I want the piston to be like nicely lined when we start to add the force. I think that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, that's great. Oh. Just tighten this and then we go. Uh, Hanna, what is your opinion? Is it going to be laser beam or is it going to be like size small stream? Like? <laughs> I think it's going to be just some pile of gummy bears in front of the nozzle. Ah, so like shy, shy little, yeah, little stream. Yeah, really shy. I, I say that it's going to be absolute like laser beam. Okay, goes through the wall. Goes okay. through the wall. Okay, that's it. And we, we have full power and full speed, so here we go. Hanna is celebrating our victory here. Yeah, Lauri was aiming like really bad. This is not going to leave ever. Look at this. <laughs> it looks <laughs> like some alien. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, we have to change that. No, it's, it's a like good memory. No. It starts to start. To Everybody smell. can be like, what the hell is that? Yeah, and it was gummy bears. Yeah, we have plenty of those. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to now change smaller nozzle and then we are going to aim again here. Okay, now we have about twice smaller hole. So we should get twice the speed and twice the heat. <laughs> it's going to be like gummy bear napalm at this point. Yeah. Uh, oh. See. Does it point too much at us? No. <laughs> okay, definitely more speed. And uh, let's go have a look, look what, what we hit this time. Mm, what you hit, you was the aiming. <laughs> ah, I was the aiming. You can aim the next one yeah, then. Yeah, I definitely will. Oh, well, hmm, that was pretty good aim, I say. Yeah, but the smell, the smell is like very gummy berry. It's, it's much hot, hotter now. Gummy berries. What's out, don't burn your fingers, it, it's sticky and hot. Good. The smell is strong. Mm. Yeah, but uh, I changed that to into oh, that. 
smallest one. That's really small. And I'm not sure is this stuck somehow, so there might be some... Because the light doesn't shine through this. Mm. So it's probably going to scatter some pressure before okay. it releases. So it might be quite a spectacular sight. Yeah, let's see. Okay, now I'm a bit afraid that it's stuck and it doesn't open and something terrible happens, but uh, we are going to take that risk. Of course we are. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I hope that we got that on some camera. Was there like smoke? Yeah, there was. There was gummy bear smoke. Let's no. go have a look what the <laughs> hell we made. The, uh, uh, hmm. So I think it was just easier to yeah. easier to leak from there. Yeah, quite interesting. I think we are going to try to pop this open. Yeah. And let's see if, it, if it's okay. Yeah. And if it's okay, then we can uh, try to extrude something else. But before that, I'm going to tell you about this video sponsor, Valtavalo. And this sponsorship is my idea. I reached out to Valtavalo and asked, would they be interested in providing LED lights for our bunker? Because seven years ago, we did a collaboration with Valtavalo. They provided 10 lights to our workshop proof, and they have been excellent. All of them still work. You can uh, replace your fluorescent lights with these. So you can use your old holders and just replace the old-fashioned lights with LEDs. And why I wanted to use Valtavalo LEDs? There is three reasons. The first reason is that they have excellent color rendering index. It's about the same as with my expensive movie lights, but these are much easier to like mount to the roof because they are like made for that and get good like solid base lighting here because the spots they light up the press but I want to light like everything so when I film onto the walls and stuff like that it's not dark and I want to steal everything to look good so I have to get good color rendering index and the second thing which is great with these on filming use is the fact that they don't flicker at all not 50 hertz, not 100 hertz, not any hertz. I have tested out them with the high speed camera and absolutely zero flickering. And then the last reason, these are really tough. <laughs> Check out this. I dropped them and then I hit them with the hammer and uh, the hammer actually dented the frame, but it still works. So for industrial use, they are really tough. And if you wanna see my whole light setup, go check out the Beyond the Press channel. I have also special guest there, but there I go through the whole light setup with the movie lights and everything. And if you are interested in really high quality LED lights, go check out Valtavalo website. There is link down in description. Okay, and here is my plan how to open this. <laughs> I had that said <laughs> pneumatic hose to the plug and now when I turn the air on it's going to shoot the piston out and that's going to happen probably quite fast Uh, this was so laborious to open that we are going to do so-called kerroskiisseli. In Finland we have this thing called kerroskiisseli. Uh, that means that like it's like uh, this really fine dessert where you have like layers of stuff. So first layer of our kerroskiisseli is going to be soap. And then the second layer is candle. <coughs> and then the third layer is chocolate. I think these layers are going to be mixed slightly. Mm -hmm. And don't worry, this isn't good chocolate. No. We might need to help this little bit. 
with the old press to get, get it going. It doesn't fit under there. Actually, let's, let's do it like this. Mm. I think it fits now. Yeah. Perfect, I just changed this and then we go. Mm. Okay, Kerros Kiesel is ready to go. And um, I think I'm going to push the pedal down and hold it there as long as the shit comes out. Mm. Oho! 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 That's the... Okay, okay, okay! Seems that the soap and the candles, those were quite easy to extrude, but uh, I'm not sure was it my uh, decision to put the chocolate with the wrappers there or what, but this plugged in and when it opened, it flied really fast. The fastest sit was about 250 meters per second there, so probably that's why the acoustic panel was all chewed up. <laughs> yeah, it just came from everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it, it came from everywhere. That's that's well said. Let's go have a look. Yeah, uh, we haven't broke any seals because we don't have any seal. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, this is not the optimal. I think we need special high pressure seals. Mm. <laughs> there is like lots of everything. Everywhere. Yeah, this, this is quite hot. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It still smells like soap. It smells like soap. It smells like chocolate soap. Yeah. It looks like noodle. Hey! Hey! Oh! 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 It went through. It went through this. Not through the concrete, but, but oh. through the acoustic thing. Yeah, it, 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 it moved quite fastly. Yeah, there is some at the backs. Yeah, there was a lot of interesting stuff happening. Yeah. After this get blocked somehow, it starts to come from everywhere. Yeah, but I'm pretty pleased on this. It was an eventful It crash. was eventful. It's a very good word for this. Yeah, eventful. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.